Hello Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 30th, going to the 5th of June. So let's see what's going on for you guys. As always, I'm going to pull the cards out first. I'm actually going to do a different spread this week because uh, one thing I want to mention already going into your reading is I've tried to do your reading already and there was just so much energy going on around you. It was very hard to understand what your energy was. So the first things first, when it happens in a reading, all I'm going to say is protect yourself. Okay, uh, Scorpio, this is a really good time to get yourself some crystals. This is a really good time to kind of maybe focus on your own energy this week. There is a lot of conflict going around the water signs this week for some reason. A lot of chatter around you, a lot of gossip or a lot of, you know, um, opinions. Uh, it can be very hard to know where you stand or what your opinion is if we're listening too much to other people. So just be aware of this. Again, I really feel like standing tall in your own energy and, and knowing what your energy is. Uh, if you're an empath Scorpio, you, you might know that your energy can be very easily impacted by those around you. So just be very aware. Not everyone's going to be 100% okay this week for some reason. I can already channel that in for most people. Um, so just make sure you protect your energy here because the last thing you want to do is to feel some kind of way when it's not your own energy. It's, it's the worst coming from uh, me. So let's let's see what's going on for you guys Scorpio and see what's going on. See what spirit has to say for you i'm gonna pull some of these cards out first spirit please three for scorpio and two more mm -hmm. one more What is with this week? <laughs> I want to know. Don't worry. Don't panic. Let me just pull you out some tarot cards too. I want to see Scorpio's energy only. Very nice. Look, I knew something good was coming for you guys. I do see a new beginning happening. I actually feel like some of you could be making some very major changes uh, in terms of where your life is actually heading. So this could be anything from kind of moving away from uh, commitments that you may have been in for a while. That could be work. That could be anything like homes or anything like that. Uh, these are big commitments that you might be walking away from or changing up a little bit. Uh, this is good. Actually, I think it's gonna be very refreshing. I actually feel like you might be intuitively guided to make these changes. So if that happens, then it's good uh, for you. I do see opportunities coming in that are very fated as well. Uh, take it. Okay, is one thing I want to say because I think that spirit is removing you from something that is no longer working out for you. Oh, here's your card, Scorpio, the death card coming through. Major transformations and tra changes, <laughs> trains, <laughs> changes coming in for you guys, Scorpio. But um, I do think it's coming from a bit of chaos in your surroundings. So just be mindful of this. Uh, stand tall in your energy. I'm just going to see the energy around Scorpio. External energy, please. Ten of Swords and a Ten of Cups. It will resolve itself. There might be a lot of unhappy people around you at this time. And this is what I kind of feel like. You, you might need to put your guard up a little bit. This is the only time I will say that it's a good time to be on well, on the defense. I think that's the, probably not the best way of putting it. Because it's not a good time to start arguments with people. To have these kinds of arguments with people. Um, I, I feel like there might be a lot of people who could get really upset over the smallest of things this week. I do get a bit of sensitivity in the air um around this is what's going on around you though because we have the ten of swords a lot of endings happening around you a lot of people are going through a lot and this is where the sensitivity is arising where people might be trying to take it out on you a really good time to pull away detach your energy focus on what you need to focus on uh because i, I get that hurt people hurt people uh which is why i think it's a good time to move away from anyone Not away from anyone who's going through something but um it's not your responsibility to heal people to be there for people is different because i do see that well, whoever's going through this is gonna come out of it uh so you might go through temporary change like uh endings uh, but you will be happy by the end of it so an ending that is going to lead to some sort of happiness that's what it feels like uh, or anyone who is around you going through changes and endings and they could be quite hurt from this uh, they will come out of this which is great uh, and I do see that some people around you are if they have withdrawn a little bit that they will heal from this but just be aware because I, I think that sometimes these people can take it out on you 
um, with the Five of Cups here. I'm trying to make you feel bad. I don't think it's intentional, uh, but the Nine of Wands is really asking for you to kind of put the wall up here within this week, Scorpio, and protect your energy because I think other people's emotions affect you more uh, because you are a deep sign, right? You want to know why people are going through what they're going through and you want to be there for them. But I do see that it could drag you down this week. And when you're going through such a transformation within yourself, Scorpio, just be mindful of this because it could really cause a lot of confusion in your life. Let's see what the blockages are this week, though. King of Swords, being strategic, okay? Really needing to put that wall up and to kind of detach yourself from some people. This might be a bit of a blockage for you, though, as in it might be difficult for you to put up these boundaries and blockages with people. People might not like it. When the King of Swords comes up in a reading, he can be very brutal. Uh, but only because he's trying to avoid getting himself involved with this. Uh, with responsibilities that aren't yours to deal with. With toxic people. With toxic situations. With arguments. With disagreements that aren't necessary. Because it's just based on anger. Or frustration in the moment. Uh, the King of Swords is a good thing to come up with the Devil card. And it really wanted to come out just then. Uh, because he's kind of cutting through the crap. Uh, you are setting people free. You might be uh, involved in helping someone get uh, out of a toxic situation as well. In which case again they will heal from this but the blockage right now does feel like it's uh harsh words shared and also people not really liking uh the fact that you are um not accepting bullshit this week basically um so just be aware of this when you step into this detached phase be mindful of who becomes your enemy that's all i'm saying scorpio why are you guys getting these messages recently it's just it's hard i guess i also the good thing is that i see coming through within this week is that you guys are going to be getting rid of any bad habits or and uh, fears that are within you as well uh, but i want to clarify this wild card for you so this is your energy the Knight of Pentacles, great. This is about you moving forward. I like this. For some of you, a friend could turn into a lover. For some of you, could be meeting up with some old friends too. Uh, this does feel good for you. I actually feel like this is quite nice with the Six of Cups here because you might be uh, refreshed with fond old memories uh, that can actually inspire where you're going and what you're building in the future as well, actually, for you, Scorpio, which is good. It might actually help you revisit things that uh, made you feel like you had some kind of purpose uh, with the high priest is coming through it could definitely help you understand some answers that you've been looking for with this why card in your oracle deck what's your purpose uh whenever this card comes in you're kind of discovering why things are happening to you why you feel a certain way and you're finding the answers with that uh but it's likely coming through when you are around uh or meet up with these older older friends or past people or people you have this connection with it's soulmates um so this new beginning of yours, I actually feel like you could be making some new friends in a new workplace as well with the Knight of Pentacles. This is a really good time to work on your finances, work on your career life too, and to focus on where that's heading. This looks good. You're going to meet some really amazing people with this too. Uh, a Pisces could be of significance here as well. Um, but what Spirit is really saying is to be present in your life uh, within this week because what really matters for you guys is the here and now as much as the past is revisiting uh, and as much as the future might be scary for you. I think that being in the present is really where the opportunities lie and where you're going to actually be able to notice more opportunities around you. Um, this card always, always, cards always come to life for me as you guys know. But if you come, kind of come down and get lost in your head here thinking about the past too much or um thinking too much about the future either what you're going to do is you miss this door when it opens so stay present within this week focus on yourself uh there is going to be a lot of confusion around you maybe feel feeling a little bit at a crossroads or you're not sure where to move forward next the white card is saying you don't really need to i do see old chapters ending with the wild card and new chapters beginning but this is all happening in the present anyways there is no need to worry about the future because it is going to unfold for you uh naturally and also in a very divine way so questioning these things or working yourself up about these things is only going to make you um ask questions that you're not going to know the answer to for a, a while anyways you're going to only know the answer when you're present um because that's when it's going to present itself to you so i think it's really important that we try not to answer any questions 
this week, uh, but rather just observe and to keep focusing on yourself and taking each day as it comes. Because I see some really positive results coming through, very positive results coming through. But there's a lot going on around you, so it might not be the best time. Yeah, we have Libra and energy coming through here. Uh, some contracts coming in for you, which is good. But again, I need to make sure you balance or place boundaries with certain people. We have the Empress coming through, which is perfect. Because this is about attracting and not chasing. There's no need to chase after anything right now, uh, Scorpio. So just keep that in mind. I think it is about boundaries and the truth. And I do see the truth coming out in a situation. Can we clarify this? You could be getting some really good advice from a mother figure here. Someone who is a mother. Yeah, really good advice. Any kind of contracts that you guys are dealing with, I do see victory over this. Or any legal situations, I do see victory over this. Uh, and you actually are attracting in positive contracts too. So if any of you are looking for a new job, then I do see something very rewarding coming through and something that you are going to uh, gain. Just be aware of the people around you because people are holding on to something right now and it's not in your control of what this person does in their life or how they let go. I think this person can only really help themselves if you want to be there for them because I think that might be necessary for some of you, then that's absolutely fine. But this person will um, will move past what they're going through here. They've just been through a loss of some t uh, something, of a loss of something or someone in their life. But the Ten of Cups is saying that things will be okay. Absolutely, they will be okay. I just think it's a lot for them to process. And they, they might deal with things by shutting themselves away. Uh, but it, they'll be okay. All right. Yeah, this could be a water sign in your life, Scorpio. Uh, this could be another Scorpio. Again, it could be a Cancer or a Pisces. They're just dealing with their emotions here and really trying to stay on top of it. Uh, because there might have been an ending in their love life here. There might have been an affair for some of you as well, Scorpio. And I think you're all worried about them, but they will be okay. They will be okay. A whole deck trying to come out there. What's this devil card? Yeah, moving away from restraints um, and limitations here. Um, I, I, I don't mind this. I think that you being very solid and where you're going moving forward is really going to help you move away from negative thinking, fears, worries. Um, and again, any toxic people, I, I think you are moving forward, but... Take each day as it comes. Uh, all right, Scorpio. Let me see for Scorpios in terms of love. Ace of Wands. You could be meeting someone new. This could definitely be someone with a lot of chemistry between the two of you. Uh, we have the uh, Queen of Cups coming through as well, which is nice. This is someone who is very sensitive, very loving, very nurturing. Six of Swords could be someone from, sorry, a distance from you. Uh, this has the potential to be something long term. This does feel very new. Um, but this could be someone who lives abroad from you or has, there's some distance involved in this that you may have to travel to see each other or, um, yeah. Ace of Swords too. You have a lot of aces with this. It does feel very new, very fresh and, uh, something that definitely is going to spark something within you. Follow your gut instinct with this person. I think it can go far, but this feels like the beginning stages. Let's pull you out of romance. Pay attention to the red flags. This is a good time to make sure you place boundaries and compromise. Well, they, maybe they need to compromise something. If there's anything that you're worried about, just pay attention to those, okay? Especially in friendships around you too. If something doesn't sit right with you, Scorpio, trust your instincts. We are forgiving and learning. So for some of you, I do see someone new coming through, but for some of you, you might also be having to kind of move past an old person still. They might be trying to come back here. It's okay to forgive and to move forward, but I really do get a sense that there is unrequited love here and uh, there may have been a lack of trust too. Uh, trust your gut instinct. That's the only thing I would say to trust because I don't think this person from the past is worth uh, investing in because there's something else coming away and it's true love and it's something that is um, new, okay? My angels, I wish you all the best, Scorpio, and I will see you guys next time, okay?